In this video, I'm gonna be transforming this basic clown mask into something more detailed. Let's get into it right now. Before I airbrush it, the first thing I'm gonna do is clean it. So I'm gonna use a bit of this wax and grease remover and just give the mask a clean so that any contaminants on the surface don't get sanded into the base. It's probably a bit of overkill for this sort of a mask. You probably could get away with just using a plastic primer, but I thought I'll show you how to do this. And then if you do have a better quality mask that you want to paint, then you know how to prep it. And then with another paper towel, I just dry it off. And then using a gray scotch pad, I'm going to go ahead and scuff the surface just so the paint has a little bit of tooth to bite into. So this is my seven year old daughter's choice. She picked this particular costume and the costume came with this mask. So I said to her, let me airbrush it. Her answer was don't stuff it up. So there's a little bit of pressure now. And you should be able to see a slight scratching in the surface. That means that you've done it well enough. Now spray a little bit more of the wax and grease remover over it and then give that a clean again. First thing I want to do is get rid of these eyebrows. I don't really like the red, so I'm going to use some white and I'm going to run the white a bit thicker as well, just so I get coverage. Just do light coats and build it up. Try not to saturate the surface. You can see I'm letting it dry and then moving back onto the other side. Use the air to dry it. Needs a few coats. Continuing with that white, I'm just going to eliminate these bits in the corner of the mouth. Again, just building it up. I went a little bit too heavy. So you can see what happens when you do that. I'm not too stressed about it. I can hide it with some texture. So to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. Keep that air on. That'll help to dry it. And now to further detail the mouth, I'm going to use that illustration Scarlet. So also brighten it up. And you can see there that hasn't dried. So I've got to let that dry off a bit more. So I'm going to work on the nose and I'll come back to that. The red isn't too bad on this mask. Pretty accurate to the scarlet. Going to lift that up to render underneath the nose. You can see how easily that red oversprays as well. So I have to clean that up with a bit of white. Getting it on at the moment. Red is definitely the worst colour for overspray. I'll work around. These edges as well. It's looking a bit messy at the moment, but it'll work. It should be dry enough now. I'll build that up. You'll see the, the mark on there will pretty much disappear. And I'm going to run this up a little bit more.
Now we're gonna use some cobalt blue. Be a little bit uneven with this. Again, it's just makeup. Just extending that up. Texture in a little bit through here, leaving some of that lighter blue. I know it's pretty rough, but I'm not too concerned about it. I'm gonna clean it up with the white and the black. Just a matter of just getting that color on there. Changing the shape of a bit of this makeup. Now using the white, I'm just gonna clean up some of those areas. And I've also got a texture template. I'm gonna use that with the white as well just to add in a bit of texture. Just a little bit of texture. Don't need much. And then cleaning up again with that white. Now I don't want a perfect edge. I'm actually gonna airbrush around the edge with the transparent black. I just wanna clean up that overspray. Again, building it up, not going too heavy too quick. Quite a bit of red over spray to clean up. On a bit too wet there. So just let that dry off, and move on to another section. Again, not too concerned. It's just gonna add a bit of texture anyway and it's meant to look like uneven makeup, so. You could actually use that technique to your advantage. Just winding in that MAC valve a little bit. That'll allow me to get more paint on, keep it a bit wetter. Because half the time the problem is there's too much air pressure and then that blasts out and makes that paint uneven on the surface. Good practice to do something like this as well, a 3D object. Because you constantly got to angle your airbrush in different areas to make sure that you control your overspray. So it's not as easy as it looks. So if you do end up having a go, don't get disheartened. And I'll do some freehand highlights in here as well. And on here. Not too many, just brighten them up in a little area, just on the high spot.
just adds a bit more of an effect rather than just having the textured highlights. Recoating over these areas now that they're dry, just getting them a little bit brighter. I'm going to use some transparent black. So this is transparent base mixed with black and some reducer. Let's we'll start around these areas first. And then I'm going to shade off those areas. texture as well. Got some divots in there. So just drop shadow one edge. So all the markings are here so I can just follow them. Some texture lines in here as well like just creases around the eyes. Again uneven around the edge. You can leave gaps in your line as well. Bit of shading just to make it look a bit more like a roll, like a big crease in the forehead. So just work with the shapes that are already there. Adding some shading on the top, just around the rim of the mask. Shade underneath where the nostrils are. Do a little bit of texture as well. Thinner lines in here where these creases 
the sitting. Subtle lines or shadows just to make the makeup more uneven. A little bit of shading around the edge of where that nose makeup is, that paint. Heavier shadow through here. Same on the other side. Again, just working with the shape. And then this one, I'll work that down through here. Make up around the lip. A little bit of texture in the lips with that transparent black. A bit of a shadow. Same in the corner of the mouth. And then teeth. Here, brush them in individually. shading in the teeth. And then final bit of shading around here. Just gonna add some 1K clear to seal it off. Just a light dusting. Make sure it's all sealed. Again, I'm not going too heavy. Trying to get all the areas, and that'll do.